What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 56 of my West Ham United career mode. If you could be ever so kind to support the series, make sure to smash that like button. I would very much appreciate it and it really does help the channel grow. And speaking of the channel growing, if you could take some time out of your day to hit that subscribe button, absolutely smash the hell out of it because we're trying to hit 2,500 subs. That would be awesome. We do accept the England job, as many of you put in the comment section down below. If you want me to take the England job, I'm taking the England job. And and um, hopefully we can get ourselves, um, you know, a lot of wins under our belts. We have got the World Cup coming up at the end of this season too, which is something I'm definitely looking forward to. As we get into the transfer window here, Gerard Delafeu try to get a straight, straight swap for Manuel Lanzini. CM versus Lacko, obviously the Croat. That is an incredible right back for us. Who's you know been absolutely awesome. I really do love him in the team. Us to discuss wages, so we do near on near enough double his wages from 35 to 60 grand important first team player that should be enough to see him at the club we get ready for now a game against Aston Villa and I can tell you right now this was not the most exciting game for me um, nothing just went our way and I'm going to say that from the start Mahmoud Dehu does start in centre attack midfield obviously in for the injured uh, Guillaume Diarrasetta and that means obviously Mahmoud Dehu uh, plays centre attack midfield and Ruben off the cheek comes in Aston Villa in 16th position um, not a massive threat for us, to be honest with you. And just off topic really quickly, I want to apologise for my voice in this video. I have come down with a bit of the flu here, and my throat is an absolute bit. So I'm hoping that it's nothing too serious here. As Wilson gets onto the ball here. We're trying to get uh, a go against Villa here. Vastako gets the ball in, does actually find Bergen, but it does get cleared away. Hams will come forward again, though, right in the half an hour mark. Callum Wilson onto the ball. The striker gets into the box, drives himself into the box, puts it across goal, but Richardson clears it away there. Again, West Ham put pressure on Villa. Here's Bakuni gets onto the ball, plays it into Fernando, loses out to Candy, who finds Callum Wilson. Wilson onto a loose ball, shoots. Costil makes the save, and lucky enough, it does fall to Richardson. We're going into half time here. West Ham definitely the more lively of the two sides here, but nothing really to scream about. One shot for the Hammers is absolutely embarrassing. So we do bring on Perrin, Resox for the Matteo Poloski. We get right up to the 80th minute and nothing has happened in that second half. As Ruben Loftus cheek brings us forward, does find Poloski. Poloski loses his man here, takes on Richardson, does really well, takes on Richards but can't get past there as he does make the save. As Sinclair now comes forward for Aston Villa. Great bit of pace shown there as Bergen can't catch up, plays a brilliant through ball into Ayu and Seaborn has to have a, a, a massive acrobatic save there to keep the game at bay. In the 90th minute though, Villa would get a corner. The ball comes in from Valeri, does find the back post to Ayu off the crossbar. West Ham somehow get away with Poloski there. Still nil-nil, but from the resulting corner, the ball would come in again. Are they going to find the goal for Larry? It falls to Richards, and somehow, Yorza Kore finds the back of the net. one at nil to Aston Villa, with, which would be the last kick of the game. Important goal for Villa, and absolutely heartbreaking for the Hammers fans here. The last kick of the game. Many of the fans would probably have left the stadium to try and beat the, uh, the traffic to get home, but... I mean, it's absolutely gutting for us. It really is. The ball's come in here. Um, you'll see it from this angle. It comes in and, ah, oh, it's headed onto his head. And it's a cruel deflection. I don't think there's nothing Mark Seaborn can do. And Aston Villa still a result here. Final score at Upton Park is West Ham nil. Aston Villa won. That is literally the last kick of the game. Absolutely heartbreaking for the Hammers. It really was. But... We wasn't in the game to, at all, to be fair. Um, they had 60% possession, which is absolutely embarrassing. And guys, just a friendly reminder, make sure you do hit that like button if you are enjoying the series. And also, hit that subscribe button to try and hit 2,500 subs. We get rejected for De La Feu, so they are for 3 million plus Manuel Lanzini. And I'm pretty sure Gerard De La Feu is going to be one of the players to watch for the near future. So, very happy about his progress and hopefully we can get him into the club. Gondo, when we do reject deals from PSG for him and a £31.5 million deal from Mauro Cardi. Good deal from Norwich to be fair, but just not interested. We do also reject a deal from Dundee FC for Francesco Perrin. Uh, 170k is an absolute insult for a player of his stature at the moment. And we get some bad news. Cien versus Lacko. He says that he is not interested in signing a new contract and he... Uh, Something he don't want to commit himself to. He might look into leaving the club. Uh, done, done, done indeed as we get ready for a game at St. Mary's against Southampton. Looking to bounce back from that shocking defeat against Aston Villa. Antonio does start on the left-hand side, obviously, for the injured Danny Ceballos. But other than that, it is the team we've come to love. 
uh, for the starting level at the moment. West Ham top of the league by five, oh, sorry, not five, seven points, should I say. And we are the best defensive team in the league. So hopefully we're not going to be a pushover for the Saints here. And that's why it was even more incredible that Aston Villa did get the, the, the win against us. Um, can't lie about that. It was uh, rather shocking. As Karius starts in net, uh, Ryan Bertrand amongst the defence here. Wan Yama, who obviously today, as I'm recording this, obviously last uh, last night, did join uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. Antonio gets on the ball here. does find Akali. Akali does find Paul Pop. A great opportunity but it does go wide of the mark on that occasion. West Ando wouldn't stop coming forward as Lanzini finds Pogba. Pogba slips it through into Icardi. Icardi gets the shot away, but again, Karius holds on to the ball as Pogba now gets away from Yoshida, gets taken down in the 24th minute here. Referee goes over, does show him a yellow card. You can see in that top corner here is Paul Pogba. Slides up the free kick and beats Karius in there. It's 1-0 to the Hammers and it is Paul Pogba with the finish. Uh, he's definitely making the claim for that golden boot at the end of the season. What a signing Paul Pogba's turned out to be. Uh, is he better than Dimitri Payet in at this series? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to have to go out on a whim and say he is. He's made an instant impact. He, he gets the free kick goals too, which Dimitri Payet was renowned for for us here. 13 goals. Paul Pogba is having an absolute mad one in the Premier League at the moment on his return to English football. As Pogba gets onto the ball here again, plays the pass, gets taken out by Yoshida yet again. Just a couple minutes later, the referee has no choice. He goes over to the Saints captain, I do believe here. Uh, what is it going to be for Yoshida? He does actually get sent off for a second yellow card offence. Southampton down to 10 men and they are 1-0 down. Rather shocking there as Romero loses that to Pogba. Pogba finds Eric Dyer here. Eric Dyer onto the ball. What can he do? The Englishman holds the ball up really well here. Plays it into space to Akadi. That would have been a stunning finish there, but unfortunately does go wide of the mark. As uh, now Bertram comes forward for the Saints right at the end of the half here. Weaves in and out of players and Butler has to make a great save. And you're lucky John Stones was there because that would have been a free hit into the back of the net for the player. You have to believe. As we go into half time here, it looks like West Ham are pretty set to win this game now. Uh, obviously with the extra man as the ball does fall into Antonio's path here. Cuts inside of the fullback here. It's still Mikel Antonio across goal. Finds Lanzini arriving late. Carrius committed himself too early. West Ham double their lead right on the hour mark here. And it's 2-0 to the Hammers. Manuel Lanzini, the captain, who is at the centre of transfer speculation here, does find the back of the net. It's good to see that he is um, obviously the captain is showing a great, a, a great, great character, and um, you know that's what a role model should do in this time of um, negotiation. As Callum Wilson, Mark Noble, and Reese Oxford all come onto the pitch, it's an English trio onto the pitch now. As Lanzini gets onto the ball, does actually find Hector Bellerin, the right back, does really well to get into this position here. The Spaniard does actually find Reese Oxford turns, shoots, Carrier saves and denies West Ham getting a third. But we would come forward yet again. Wilson lays it off to Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba onto the ball, does find Reese Oxford again, takes the shot off the post this time here. And Reese Oxford's done everything but not score. As Mane's uh, poor clearance here falls to Zuma. Zuma finds Noble. Noble plays it into Paul Pogba, turns away from his man. It's Paul Pogba. It's into the top corner. It's West Ham 3, South Hampton 0. Paul Pogba with a deadly strike into the top corner. No chance for the keeper. And we're running away with it. We absolutely are. Uh, the goalkeeper can't believe it as uh, they do celebrate into the back corner there. Um, Noble, great ball into his path. He nearly lost out onto the ball there, but he didn't. And Paul Bogba is celebrating his 14th goal in the BPL. You heard me right, 14 goals. That is incredible for the Frenchman, who has definitely hit the ground running in the league so far. Final uh, final score here today, sorry guys. It's Southampton nil, West Ham United 3. Two from Pogba, one from Lanzini. And uh, that's clinical West Ham back to their best and shaking off the defeat from Aston Villa in the previous game, which is obviously awesome to see. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Paul Popper does take home man of match. Um, two goals for him. And like I said, he, he's just here then everywhere. He's one of the best players I've ever signed in career mode. And... Like I said, life without Paul Pogba, I can't imagine it now, I really can't, hope he does never get injured for us, uh, that would be a massive blow if he did, but guys, that unfortunately is going to be the end of today's video, if you did enjoy it as always, make sure to smash that like button, we're trying to hit 2,500 subs, so if you could be ever so kind to hit that subscribe button, if you are new around here, that would mean the world, pause it on the player, you want to see their progress, we have a lot of progress for some of our players here today guys, uh, as always, hope you have a really nice day. Uh, I'll catch you all in the next one, guys, and peace.